In this video, I will make a 3D drawing of a simple mechanical component, uh, which is more or less like a hex bolt. So let's start with the 3D modeling workspace. Make sure that you are in 3D modeling. If you are not in this workspace, then switch it from this drop down menu. If this drop down menu is not visible, you can also switch it to 3D modeling workspace from this workspace switching box. So here you have this 3D modeling. Once you are in 3D modeling and the ribbon looks like this, then we'll start making our drawing. So first start with circle. So let's select circle from draw panel or home tab and enter a center point of 0 comma 0. So this will ensure that the center of a circle lies on the origin of coordinates and press enter. Now wherever the origin is, this circle will snap automatically to that point. Now you need to enter the radius value for this circle or diameter. So in this case, let's enter first a diameter value of 45. So since you are in radius, you can see here that specify radius of circle is prompted on command line that simply indicates that you need to specify the radius. If you want to change it, then click on this diameter and now enter 45 as the diameter of this circle. So here we have the circle. Now based upon the settings of scale of your drawing, your drawing may appear large, small or it may not appear at all. So for that case, uh, you need to adjust it in your drawing area. And for adjusting, double click your middle mouse button. So double click and here we have it in our drawing area. So this will apply zoom extends command and it will bring it in the viewable area of your drawing screen. Now let's move on to the other circle. So again go to circle command, move your cursor close to the center point and click here. Now enter a radius uh, of 35 units for making another circle. So here we have it 35 radius for another circle. Now we need to make one more circle here. Let's zoom out a little bit and now again go to circle command and make a circle with diameter of 87 units. So let's click here and make a circle with diameter. So type D for diameter, enter and then 87 units and press enter. So we have made these three circles. Now the next component is a hexagon and for this hexagon distance between two parallel flats is 100 units. So what these two parallel flats are, I'll let you know in a moment. So let's first start with hexagon. So you'll find hexagon or polygon here in draw panel. So let's start with polygon and now it will prompt you to enter number of sites. So for hexagon, we have six sites, type six, press enter. Now specify center of polygon, which is this one. Now we need to select one option from these two options inscribed in a circle and circumscribed about a circle. Currently, we need to select circumscribed about a circle. That also you'll know in a moment. So here we have this circumscribed about a circle. Now, as I told you earlier that we need to ensure that the distance between two flats is 100 units. So what we need to do, we need to ensure that distance between center and this midpoint of edge is 50 units. So type 50 press enter which will be the radius of circle now here we have made a hexagon now we have talked about flats so the flat simply means distance between any two opposite parallel lines so in this case distance between this line and this line when measured perpendicularly is 100 units so if this total distance is 100 then obviously the distance between center to this point will be 50 units similar will be the case for every other opposite parallel line now we have made our uh, hexagon with distance between these two flats as 50 units and also this is a circumscribed hexagon that means if you make a circle touching all these midpoints then the radius of that circle will be 50 units let's check it so go to this circle drop down go to three point and click at any three point of this hexagon so any three midpoints now we have made a circle so this hexagon lies outside the circle hence this is sub circumscribed and we have selected a radius of 50 units or 
half of the flat distance as 50 unit that means the radius of this circle should be 50 so double click and from property panel you'll see that radius is 50 unit so yes we have it correctly now let's escape and delete the circle we don't need it here now we need to rotate this circle to an angle of 90 degrees so let's go to rotate select this uh, hexagon press enter and now select the center so here's the midpoint and enter an angle of 90 degree and press enter so here is our rotated hexagon now the next thing is making six smaller circles on this circle so let's go to circle command again and make sure that you select center radius circle now after your selection move your cursor to this point but don't click now drag it downwards you'll see this a uh, tracking vector now when this tracking vector crosses this circle this outer circle then click here and now make a circle with radius of 6 units so type 6 and press enter now if you are not able to see this tracking vector or the intersection then make sure this O snap is turned on and from this O snap this intersection point is also checked also make sure that object snap tracking is turned on now let's move on so we need to make six copies of this circle along this larger circle so for that I'll go to array click on this drop down from modify tab uh, modify panel and click on this polar array select the circle press enter and now specify base point so base point will be the center point and here we have these six circles so if by default you don't see six circles then you can go to items change it to six once you are done with this make sure that this associative is unchecked that means it's grayed out it's not selected like these two are selected so if you see that associative is selected like this then click it again to make it appear gray or unchecked and then close this array so we have made all the six circles now we can ignore this circle and delete it let's go to fillet command now so here we have this fillet and we need to enter fillet of radius 10 unit to all these sharp edges so select radius enter 10 press enter now to apply fillet to all these edges at once select polyline and click on any line of this polygon and all the corners will be filleted with a radius of 10 unit so we have almost made our drawing now let's move on to 3d workspace for that click on this home icon right beside this view cube even if you don't find this view cube you can click on this negative icon here which is for viewport controls and click on this view cube to make it appear now once you can see your view cube click on this home icon this will take you to the default view or the southwest isometric view now from this view we'll start making a drawing and we'll start using 3d tools the first 3d tool which we are going to use is this press pull so from this modeling panel select this press pull now bring your cursor inside this area but make sure you click inside this area and not on any geometry as you can see here I'm clicking inside now click here so you'll see uh, that it will extend it upwards so now enter a height of 12 units so here we have a height of 12 units now we have one more concentric circle here so select this circle again and now this time enter a height of 82 units and press enter and press enter again to exit this press pull command now let's change this visual style we are seeing it in 2d wireframe which makes it more confusing so for changing visual style click on this 2d wireframe and change it to shaded now we are in the shaded view and the drawing appears more clear now go to free orbit and take a look at the drawing which we have drawn so far let's escape it turn off this grid and now we'll combine these two geometries into a single unit for that go to union from solid editing select this geometry and this geometry and press enter now this will appear as a single geometry when you click it it will appear as if the geometry has been made all at once now let's rotate it upside down and here we need to enter a chamfer in this inside circle for that first we can delete this geometry because this will make it more confusing to work with so 
it is better if you delete this circle or this geometry. So the easiest way is moving this 3D geometry. So select this 3D geometry, press enter, select any point and move it from its original point. Now you'll see all these 2D geometries which we don't need. So select and delete. Bring it back here. Now go to solid tab. Select chamfer from the solid editing drop down here. You'll find chamfer. And now here we need to apply the chamfer. So select this inside edge. Now we need to enter the distance which is 3 units. So select distance and enter a distance of 3 and again enter a distance of 3. So here we have this chamfer. Press enter and enter again. So you need to enter twice to make it appear. So this was all. I hope uh, you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.